drought situation. All right, we are kicking off day four of Fun Fest, of course, right here in Kingsport, getting you ready for a very popular event, Kids Central. It won't be long now, and there are going to be kids everywhere around here. We've got Tara Chadwell here with us. We're going to start with you, of course, on the Fun Fest committee. Yes. This event, so popular, a staple here for Fun Fest. It is, and you know, I've had the privilege of being on the Fun Fest board and committee for many years and overseeing the Kids Central event for a long time, and this is the staple of Kingsport. I live here in the community. I have a young child, so being able to get the kids out here and active is just so much fun. And it's entertainment, and it's activity, and it's education all in one. And I know you've heard from so many different families really thanking you for these kind of during the weekday events as well. Gets everybody out as we get ready kind of for, you know, don't want to say it, but another school year coming up. It does. It's like the end of summer wrap up, as bad as that is to say. What a better way to do it than Fun Fest. Um, but yeah, over the years, we've been able to really build relationships with families that have came year and year and year so I've really grown close to a lot of them and look forward to seeing them here again today. And look, we've even got Festus here, so you know it is an official Fun Fest activity and event. Always fun to see them. And then we've got Tiffany over here. We're talking about Kids Central, and I know this is such an important um, event for the Nice Wonger Children's Network, really seeing that network in action today. Yeah, so I'm a little biased, but I think this is the best part of Fun Fest. Um, it's just a great opportunity for the kids, but it's also a great opportunity for Nice Wonger Children's Network to get out in the community, interact with the families that we serve every day, and just to really get the kids some fun, get the kids some activity, and get the kids some education as well as the families. Wonderful. And Tiffany, we're seeing some of your volunteers in some of these little areas where they can come out and have some fun. And as we see kids taking part, tell me a little bit about just some of the activities that you have planned for the kids. We have lots of fun planned today. We have some fun demos. So we have Home Depot here to do a wood building workshop. Bus City Soap's going to paint some bath bombs. We've got some pool noodle drumming. We've got story, story time with the library. And then we have tons of fun events with the vendors out in the field that all have lots of things planned. We've got a parachute party out in the field. All the fun things. So it's going to be a great day. And of course, as you see these kids come in and these families having fun, I know this is also a great opportunity for you guys to kind of push a little education, some really important education out there. Yeah, so we've got a lot of education out here on the table at our registration tent. We also have in the parking lot, the Eastman parking lot, where families will be parking, we have a car seat checkpoint going on as part of our Good Neighbor program with State Farm and Safe Kids. So families can get their car seat checked by certified child passenger safety technicians to make sure it's installed correctly while they're here. Wonderful. And kind of walk us through this particular area here. It looks like this is where they come and get their bag for all their goodies. Yes, so we realized that they needed bag because they get so many goodies while they're here, which is great. The more things they can take home, the better. They'll get some cards to take home some education from some of our different vendors as well. They can pick out some fun giveaways once they turn their cards in. We've got some volunteers getting those tokens ready to go for our families, and we're just getting everything fired up and ready to roll. And I love, we've got the slinkies here, and then these are super cool. These, like, frisbees, they actually open yes. up. Yes, I'm super excited about those. I'm a little biased. Those are my favorite, yeah, I think. Yeah, the kids so, are going to love these. And, of course, yes. encouraging all that activity and fun that the kids are going to have. And we've got the big field over here. You mentioned lots and lots of vendors coming out, lots of tables, and we see that stage. So a lot of different activities. Yes, and then we, speaking of activity, we also have our Extreme Challenge that's sponsored by Indian Path Community Hospital. Um, that will be very physical activity driven. The kids have to do some physical activities and check off at each station to get a prize at the end. So. Ah, and the prize at the end, always good. Yes, so <laughs> yes, we always are all about the prizes. All right, and this of course is today and tomorrow? Yes, so we're here today um, until 3 o'clock and then we have a free magic show happening at 3.15 on the stage. And then tomorrow we're here um, we're here 1 to 5 with Splash Dance starting at 5, and Splash Dance is always a crowd favorite. Yeah, you don't want to miss Splash Dance. No, it's it's <laughs> insanity. All right, well, Tiffany, thank you so much. We'll let everybody kind of get back to work. As we mentioned, this event, of course, kicking off at 10 a.m., so less than an hour away. Lots of fun. For more information, follow them on Facebook. They're posting the schedule of events every day. It is Fun Fest on Facebook. You can also check out the website, funfest.net. Hey, coming up, there is a big dog show tonight. We're going to tell you all about it a little later on in the show.